raw dads. We talked about a second ago about, you know, sort of the busy guy getting up with the kids and sat here right now talking to you, I feel half asleep because I have a three-year-old. <laughs> so I think definitely becoming a father as a bloke has a, has a real yeah. impact on your ability to exercise. But from a health perspective, do you see a noticeable difference between men who are fathers and, and those that aren't? Definitely. And it, you know what I see anecdotally as a GP is in keeping with what the literature tells us that, that health outcomes in men, uh, you know, you're looking at blood pressure, cholesterol levels, BMI, they all decline in new fathers. Uh, Do they? It, yeah, it, it's a difficult time. A lot of uh, at that point in your life, a lot of emphasis is on maternal and child health. Rightly so. You know, women have had the epic body shock of having to give birth to a child. Sometimes it involves a massive surgery, like in a cesarean section. They're then breastfeeding, all that stuff. And you know, there, there's definitely massive health needs in women, but hidden behind that i think men's health also deteriorates or perhaps more silently because i think that you know naturally as parents the emphasis shifts from your own needs and your own well-being to that of this screaming infant that's just entered your life like a freight train <laughs> You're just just kind of reeling thinking what on earth has just happened you know it, it's it's a kind of natural product of that, that yeah. massive i think it's probably the biggest shift in your life you can have as a bloke is having i think a kid, yeah you think? huge yeah yeah so it is a big problem. And, and um, I think it, it, there's lots of reasons why men's health does decline. But I think the biggest one is, is that shift in focus. And I think um, how, you, how you tackle that is an interesting question. I think, I think we are, quite rightly so, I will say, but we are put on the back burner in that situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So once the baby's here, obviously everything's about the mum, getting her well again, how mm -hmm. she's getting on with breastfeeding, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And we are there to support, but at the same time, that support can be pretty hard. But mm. we, we again, men don't talk about it. We just bottle it up, suck it up, mm. and we just carry on, don't we? Yeah. And that's where I think it leads to drinking, mm. depression, yeah. you know, no outlet, you know, mm. shit job. You know, they could be a laborer, not doing much. You know yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, it, all, it all stems from yeah. that. And again, it's mm. us being at times repressed. But I understand why. But again, it doesn't doesn't make it any easier for the book. Yeah. yeah, no, it's it's a fascinating one to, to your point where I think when, when my son arrived, and I don't know if it was because, you know, the woman has it grow inside them. Mm. So that they kind of have that almost mm. instant connection. Mm. Whereas I found for me, it to some extent just appeared. You know, I yeah. work in gym, so I'm used to seeing people with bellies. It just know? appeared. Yeah. I love it. It just appeared. Yeah. Yeah. No, it just, <laughs> it's just here. Yeah. Um, and, and suddenly I was, you know, like you say, just thrust into this yeah. this kind of, you know, this and position of that. Yeah, yeah, you're expected yeah, yeah. to kind of, you know, because most people are good people. You know, yeah. they, mm. want to, they want to help. But mm. I remember my wife saying to me, you know, are you not interested when, when she was pregnant? I was like, it's, I am, of course I am. Yeah. But it's really hard because nothing's changing for me. Yeah. At this point, nothing, you know, she, she's pregnant, she's heavily pregnant and I'm mm. there for her and we're doing all the appointments and mm. doing, but really nothing, nothing really is changing to me, you know, at all. Mm. And then one day, <laughs> baby. In a puff of smoke. Yeah. 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 just drops this thing off. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. After the most it. traumatic day of my life. Yeah, oh, tell me easier. about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you know I mean? but it's mad. But I think you mentioned about the drinking thing. I think for me, because suddenly I had this new level of responsibility, it, it certainly removes my ability to do some of the things that I previously would have done as, yeah. you know, as, as a man without a child mm. or a single man. Mm. And as a result of that, I just found myself drinking a little bit more mm, mm. because I couldn't go out and maybe get that, you know, that release yeah. or, you know, the, those kind of, yeah. um, you yeah. know, that, that, that sort of rewards for, from something else by being more active because I was exhausted at the time, didn't have any time. Um, so yeah, I found myself certainly drinking a little bit more. And then that just is a knock on effect because that impacts your health and your energy yeah. levels and it just becomes a bit of a downward spiral. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a real challenge. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think it's a, there's a bigger challenge in your life. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. And it's from the time they're born right up into obviously my boy's only ten or eleven. Yeah, but it's it's a it's a changing challenge. Mm. See what I mean? Like you just you know you nurture them young, and then as he's getting older, he's turning yeah. into like a young man now. Yeah, and then all the things that come along with a cheeky young man, he's. Yeah you know got yeah. all this stuff and, yeah. and, and you carry so on they say that. the problems don't go away they just get bigger and more complex yeah. they right? do yeah. they, they just really change, do yeah. like you know <laughs> yeah. you know and, and, he, mm. and he is a good boy that's a yeah. good thing you know I think I'm mm. steering him in the right way yeah. but again you never know that's yeah. the thing I don't like a little bit you never know yeah. you, you know he's going to hit puberty soon and mm. yeah yeah you know that's going to change him a lot yeah and I think we should probably all state now just in case anybody's listening but Children, we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. You're yeah. awesome. Yeah. But um but yeah, yeah. you just you just hired work at times. Challenge. Yeah. Yeah.